Good afternoon, you're watching another episode of Phantom Flight 101. Okay, this week's episode brings me back to Calvert Vox Park where I continue to play around with the Mavic 3. And today, I want to play around with one of the uh, intelligent flight features that was uh, it featured in the latest update that we all got with that Mavic 3. So today, I want to put the bird up and play around with the uh, hyperlapse. So Lawrence, you know, novice quads, he's here today to give me a hand with that. And we're going to play around out here in Calvert Vox with the Mavic 3. Stick around. Okay, now we're ready to go with this hyperlapse. And I got the drone set up. I'm doing a screen recording so you can see exactly what's going on. And without wasting any more time, let's start the motors up. Our home point has been locked. You hit record. I'm, I don't have to hit record on the drone. The screen recording is recording. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, that's the, the new, it's a, it's a new thing, the screen recorder. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I, we're, we're I about still to, have the old stuff. We're about to take off here, guys. We're taking off. We're going to set the drone up in position. Okay, we got... We're up there. <laughs> we're, yeah, we're up. But, um, okay. We got maps and everything. I'm going to climb to an altitude of about a... I don't know, anywhere about 140, 150 feet. Right. And I'm going to set the drone in position first before... Can you move it from over so I'm not yeah, I'm, breaking I'm, my I'm, neck? I'm going to. I'm going to. That's better. Thank you. Okay. Set the drone all the way out over here. Okay. Now, we got her out in position. She's up in the sky where we want her. Let's move her back a little bit. Okay. We got her up there where we need her. Okay. That's good. You got a, you got good uh, sight on her. Okay. Yeah, I can see her. Okay, fine. so now we're gonna set up to do this hyperlapse, and we're gonna be using course lock. Correct. Okay, so now yeah. let's get rid of this. We choose course lock. And you have to select course lock first on screen. Well, we did course lock. Okay. Okay, now let's, what are we going to do? Set our speed? You would set your speed to about two miles per hour, two and yeah, a half. Let's do that. I would say two miles per hour. I usually don't go over two and a half miles what per hour. Oh, uh, what we got? Two miles per hour we're looking for? Two or two and a half? Yeah, that's 2.2 uh, 2 is 2 fine. 2.2 is fine, yeah, okay. uh, that'll work. And then we need to set how long we want the time lapse True. to be. The length, let's set the length. For 10 seconds. Let's set the length of the time lapse. Which should be about 250 frames oh, for 10 roughly, seconds. Roughly about that, yeah, it should be, I guess. And now <laughs> you set, well, now. it's already shot. It's already set to how many seconds you want it. Every two right. seconds you want, now you have to set up the course lock. Right, we have to unlock, all right, and we have to set start the recording, and then put the mouse, point the mouse in the direction you want to go. There we go, and she's going. All right. So now she's taking a series of pictures, and she's gonna, I guess, splice them all together now. We're at, what, 8 of 250. Yeah, that's go it's going to take a while. Yeah, she's moving. And moving at 2.2 .2 miles per hour. Which is not too fast, but it's also not the, uh, the slowest in the world either because she is gaining a little bit of ground there. I can see it here. I've got my own eyes on it too as well as the screen. I'm looking back and forth. Right. You know, you always need to maintain visual line of sight of your drone, even if you have a spotter. I believe so. At least to look I agree. back and forth. I agree with that. And if you notice on the map, the blue line blinking mm -hmm. is the direction that you're pointing Right, that the course lock is in, yes. Now, had you even turned more towards the highway, you could have pushed it in the 11 o'clock position as opposed to 12 o'clock. Right, but being as that it is course lock, yeah. we can turn 
the drone and it'll still it'll stay on that lock. That's true. You see what I'm saying to you? Yes. Being is that it is course lock. But if you're turning, keep turning, keep turning. You're gonna have to hold it. I'm right. looking we at her turn. We should be able to turn it. I'm looking at her turn as you're moving. You can have to keep turning. It's gonna take a while to do it because you're moving at the speed of the right. camera. But you will see that little click right. when you play back the video from when you move. Well, I saw it on the screen when it's moving. You can see everything that's happening and you have total control over while she's moving on course lock because course lock will keep you on that straight line mm -hmm. and you can turn about that straight line and move back and forth on that straight line. And we're without, still over uh, the park. Yeah, we're still over well. the park. The only thing is that I'm looking at is that we have a helicopter flying away from us, of course. Yeah, somewhat. Uh, well, he's heading right now. He's heading, yeah, he's straight, headed straight towards yeah. down the, the, the towards down the Verrazano. Yeah, towards the Verrazano, but uh, we may run out of park in in this in this instance. Well, here. I'm moving and this way because the tree is actually in my line. I saw, I got it. Now. Right, where I see I, it. I see it too, even with the tree there. No, I had lost it looking down at at you. Oh. But right now you're still over the park, so we're mm. good. Yeah, this is, uh, you, I can move her, like I said, and turn her any way, and she'll stay on that, that, that line. Now at 152 feet, she should be able to clear that tree line down there. Yeah, if definitely. necessary. I think the tallest tree is only, <laughs> yeah, only about four, five stories right. tall. Now, I can see someone really enjoying this, but having the fun. You see, uh, you do a couple of these and you seam them all together and you're, and you're uh, in your video, Anthony Charles did and, a great hyperlapse. Well, I know a few guys that do a, yeah. a lot of hyperlapses, but uh, this is like really, I usually don't mess around with these uh, intelligent flight features. It's usually something that um, I like to fly the drone myself. Even returning to home, I never hit the return to home button. I usually uh, return on my own. Right. You know. I, this... Well, in fact, that is the only smart feature that I've used. That mm -hmm. and the 180 panel. Okay. The only two smart features that I use on, on the Fly app. Okay. Well, you know. And, and I actually did my first hyperlapse here at Calvert Box with the Air 2S. Okay. You know what I like about this? If you know, everyone who's you can see this, this is a, they can see on the um, on the screen everything that I can see. Yeah. And yeah. it's showing you, you know, everything. In real time. Yeah, on the screen, how many shots, how long it will take, and how to, or how long till stop. It, it's showing you that right there on the, on, the, on the screen. You got a good little ways. You're good to go. Yeah. And it's very important when doing hyperlapse, pay attention to your battery level. Well. I know people have done hyperlapse. You're right. But see, this is the uh, Mavic 3 and uh, battery and, yeah. uh, and hyperlapse. Mm -hmm. Not with this drone. <laughs> <laughs> We're still over the confinements of the park because you're yeah. passing over a path now from what I see on the map there, that dotted line is, yeah, we're is still, a path. we're still over the park. Now, what manned it aircraft approaching. And I hear it, and I see it from over our left shoulder. They're coming out of Coney Island and flying along the coast, it looks like, towards the Verrazano. Mm -hmm. Okay. But that is the manned aircraft that it's talking about. Yeah, it's telling me to fly cautiously. Yeah, it's, it should. Well, you know, to maintain safe altitude when manned aircraft is in the area. Well, well, we know the app is, is working, and that's the new updated version, correct? Yes, the app had to been updated. Like I told you, we, this was featured in the update that came out this week that everyone uh, jumped on because everyone was waiting on this. You know, guys complained that the drone was incomplete because we were waiting on this update, and DJI told us that we had to wait on this update. Right. But we waited, and it came a little early. It came for Christmas. This is what DJI gave us for Christmas. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> And no, but I can't wait to get this into the computer 
And uh, how many more we have left? We are at we, 180 something of yeah, 250. Of 250. Okay. And I still have line of sight, and right. we are still in the park. Actually, Actually we're, we're running into starting, the borderline of the we're park. We're starting to come out of the park and head towards the bus depot down there. I and still the, have uh, line of sight. It's a beautiful sky to see a drone, and the fact that it's that gray and black. Now, if this yeah. were an Air 2S, I would have lost it. It would have been lost. If it was a Phantom, yeah. it would have been gone. Yeah, that's true. The Phantom, all white against the sky, yeah. Yeah. A in fact, I've blinked a few times and lost my Phantom. So we're, we're at 200 shots right now. Of 250. That right. didn't take too long. It's taken long enough. <laughs> well. <laughs> it's, um, it's out there. Yeah, yeah, now we, we're getting, we're at the edge of the park, right there, just nosing out. Just nosing out the edge of the park. And we're almost done with the photos anyway. Right, we're nosing out the edge of the park. We're starting to head across to, you know, where the... Uh, the amusement park is? No, 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 not even that far. The, the mall, where the Wendy's was that was no, closed? No, we're not even that far. No? Where the, the impound lot, I believe oh, that okay. is. okay, next the, door. That's next, next door, door to, to the, the park. park. Okay. By, uh, uh, in front of the marina. I know what you're talking about. I know yeah. exactly what you're talking about. And we're about. at 200, uh, 225 of 250, so we got like 20 something shots left. Yeah. Hmm. And then mission successful. Right. And then we'll bring the drone back, we'll bring her down, and that would be completed hyperlapse. <laughs> you know? Hard to believe this is winter, man. It feels yeah. good out here. Yeah, I know. She just lets you know? Mm hmm that we're almost completed. Good, good. Ten more. Ten more. And now... See, now she's just crossing see, the street. Oh, yes. I can see her. She's a little dot in the sky. Well... But I can turn away and still look. I've been flying for so long. You know, you, you tend to know what to look for. Completed. Well, the hyperlapse was successful. I agree. And that was our time here at Calvin Vox with the Mavic 3. And I hope you enjoyed the hyperlapse. Please feel free to check out the descriptions below and also feel free to leave your comments. And I'll see you next time with, with those, those guys. guys.